I'm here with Gary Ballou, Top Stars Energy Catamaran in the Superboat Stock Class. Gary, we're doing something a little bit different this time. I'm not going to ask you my, my stock questions. We got questions that were sent in from all over the world on the internet from the Superboat, Superboat International racing fans. And this is what they want to hear. They want the answers, the honest answers, if you can, to these kind of questions. So if you could take one of your competitors and strap them to the, the deck of your catamaran and take them for a hot lap, who would you choose to do that to? Uh, that'd probably be Ryan Beckley. He deserves it uh, more than all of them put together. Uh, he's been around a long time. His heart's really in the sport, and uh, I'd like to thrash him a little bit. What's your favorite venue of the entire year? Michigan City, Indiana, Stan. No compromise. This and, and why is that? People, lake, the water, atmosphere, weather. You know, it's just, uh, we really feel like we're doing something out here, you know, putting on a show because the people come out, like, in, in the thousands, and uh, that means something to us. You've raced for quite a long time. Uh, give us a, a brief story of a, a prank that you've pulled on someone or someone has pulled on you. Well, the, well, the one that comes to mind is Lee Austin. Uh, when we were racing in uh, New Orleans, he went and found a witch doctor lady, and they came down with a chicken and they hexed my boat and left a chicken feather hanging off the tie bar. And uh, that year, we went 13 for 13 first places, so I'd like to thank you, Austin, for <laughs> hexing our boat. It seems to work. The hex did not work at all. No, no it didn't. All right, let's, let's try this one. This is kind of interesting. If you're on the last lap of a race and you realize that you had to shed some weight to finish in first place and get the checkered flag, if you had to get rid of 200 pounds, what would you throw off overboard on the last lap of the race to win the race? Oh, my driver, absolutely. Uh, and on that last lap thing, I've been told that I'm on the exit ramp myself, so, you know, that last lap, that, that fits pretty well. But no, I'd throw the driver out. This is not on, on the list here, but uh, tell us about your new uh, sponsor. Well, uh, my buddy Jason owns this company, just started it, and uh, it's really, really good uh, energy drink. And uh, we're Pleased to have him on board. This is his first race with us, and uh, hope to have many more with him. You brought him to a race that uh, might be a baptism by fire because these waters can get pretty nasty out there. As you know, last year, 12 foot seas, today we had five footers. Yeah, Jason just took a ride with me for the first time, and uh, fortunately, we had a GoPro on the dash. And the whole time around, when the boat was about six feet in the air, he was laughing and giggling and all that. And I go, Great, he'll do just fine. So, you know, he's been baptized. There we go, baptized. Top Stars Energy Drink. 32-foot Doug Wright catamaran right behind us. This man has been in the winner's circle as much or more than anybody else in offshore. Gary Ballou. Thanks, Gary.